Are you ready? I'm ready. This, yeah, those are for later. <laughs> I'm incredibly nervous, so bear with me. All right, so what's going to happen is every 20 seconds a new word's going to pop out, and what I need you guys to do is yell out whatever word comes up on the screen. So let's start with this one. The first word is? Thank you, that's very good. Directions tell you how to get to somewhere and what you're doing, which I needed tonight or I never would have gotten here because I didn't know where it was. So this is really great. That's a great first word. Often refers to the person who comes in first, but what if we instead were to address how we are doing against ourselves? What if every day we said, this is what I'm going to do, we did it, we won, we're a winner every single day just by comparing ourselves to ourselves? Think about that. <laughs> it took longer than that. Yet is a great way to counteract anything negative you say about yourself. Oh, I can't do that. Yet, I can't dance. Yet, I can't win. Yet, I can't make money. Yet, I can't build a business. Yet, and it takes it away. It creates a possibility. It reintroduces to your brain that something is possible that you just said wasn't. What's the purpose of a hammer? We have this whole big discussion about purpose in life. A hammer has a use. What's your use? In order to find your purpose, what is your best? If you can be the best you can be at what you are best at, you have met your purpose. And you can fulfill it beautifully. One of the great things about this word is it means so much something different if you put some other word near it, right? So, best friend, only friend, true friend, just friends, special friend, my little friend, um, you know, ex friend, right? I mean, it, it, it's a beautiful word, but how about be friend? How about befriend? <laughs> I is the most powerful declarative word in the English language. Every time you use it, you are declaring what you were, what you are, or what you will be. It is not just simply a pronoun to put in there because you want to talk about yourself. You are telling yourself what you are going to become and the people around you at the same time. Very powerful word, a word to be careful of and use judiciously. My favorite word, when you know where you are going, it brings clarity. When you, and when you have clarity, then you can enjoy the journey. If you don't know where you're going or why you're going there, then, then it all becomes about what you're in the middle of instead of, instead of enjoying it because you don't know what's going on. If you have a clear destination in your life, you need to leave. Okay, this is used everywhere from... Clap if you believe in fairies, to I believe in God, to I believe we're going to win the championship this year. And, but how often do we really know what it means? How about this for a definition? Be confident that you know the unknowable. You are confident that you know the unknowable. Respect. Yes, be easy to everyone to say it. Okay, so um, every living thing on this planet and the planet itself were all created by a power beyond our understanding. And therefore, everything on this planet deserves respect. The only way you can lose respect is by giving it away. Nobody can take respect away from you. Love. We always talk about giving it. How about everybody just take a second, think of somebody who loves them, and feel that love. Victim is a, a, one of the most onerous labels that we put on ourselves. I don't want to offend anybody, but the only true victims are in the grave. What if instead we talked about survivors? What if I talked about surviving my own mistakes, surviving my own bad judgment, surviving the things that happened to me? What if we'd, we got rid of the whole concept of victim and start talking about survivor? Oh. Hope. Got this one from my son who's a soccer coach. He said, you give the other team hope that they might score or win and they become dangerous. Hope <laughs> takes people from a place of thinking that something's not possible to the thinking it is possible and that creates power and that makes them dangerous and powerful in the world. Hope is an amazing thing. Integrity. <laughs> um, Okay, two good definitions for integrity. Uh, that you do say and think the same thing, and the other is it's what you, that you do the right thing when nobody is watching. We all want to see integrity in our lives. It's so incredibly difficult. We should re just have great admiration for those who really bring it to the fore. Forgive. 
Uh, forgive is to release. I forgive myself, I release myself. I forgive you, I release you. But let's take it one step further past forgiveness. Let's think about um, love and acceptance and gratitude. Maybe not for the act that you're forgiving or the person, but for yourself as you move forward in life. Dream. Dream. Dreams are meant to be lived. They aren't meant to be put on a piece of paper or talked about secret someplace or thought about in the back of your head. Dreams elevate us. So having a dream gives you power, strength. It gives you something to shoot for. And don't worry about using up your dream. When you get there, you're living your dream. You'll find a bigger one. You'll have another one that you want to go to. There's no limit to dreams. We. we. Together. Inclusiveness. With unity. Moving together. It, 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 it's, it's, it's just, doesn't it just feel good to be talking about we are going to do something? We're all going to get together and do the dishes. I mean, it's just even that is better. <laughs> we, the people, in order to form a more perfect union. It's a, it, it's a bringing together, creating. Yes. There's always this big discussion about what is success, is su you know, and, and how do you define it? What's good? What's bad? It doesn't matter how you define success. The key is to learn how to get it. Because then if you find the, get your, the wrong kind of success, you can just go get a different kind of success because now you how to do it. And success is simple. There's four simple truths. Greatness. Greatness is above excellence. Greatness is my, my purpose in life is to liberate greatness in others. It, it bring, it's a, it, it's, there's a place that you get to when you're experiencing your own greatness, when you see it in others. I see greatness in everybody I meet. It's part of your, your, your God-given life. It's part of you. Uh, the power of these words is only in the meaning. I would like to invite you all to partake in a conversation about these meaning of the words at paulysinger.com. Um, that's what's on the card. I gave you the list of all the cards. Add your own names. I uh, have your own words, and we'll have a new discussion every week. Thank you.